it's Wednesday again, so yep, it's time for another DC every everything DC, all things DC, and this will be episode seven. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the first thing, some of the list will be Shazam, 93% at Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah, that's. The last update update I've got last night before I went to sleep and yep, I checked on it. So Shazam sitting pretty at 93% tomato meter, probably flexing right now at Captain Marvel. Yeah, we know that. And even taunt, taunting. I guess for Ticket sales worldwide though, Captain Marvel did an incredible job surpassing Ragnarok and Venom which are hardly the two of the good Marvel movies out there. So moving on, we have Batman's 80th, 80th anniversary. So yeah, Batman turning 80 few days from now which is, is bringing something special to you, especially all, to all the Batman fans out there, as a thank you gift to all the DC fans, the streaming service DC Universe, which includes movies, television shows, and comic books, comic books featuring DC characters, will offer all kinds of Batman-related content to everyone for free for exactly 24 hours. Not only that. There will be discounts also for the newbie who just signed up to the service for a limited time only. So that's the cue. Grab your chance. To everyone, not only the Batman fans, mark your calendar as it's fast approaching. Next we have Titans, which we did not cover for a while, but we are back at it now on this episode. So yeah, Ravager is on its way to Titans. So Chelsea T. Zhang has been cast in the series regular role of Ro- Rose Wilson, aka the Ravager, for the upcoming second season of the DC Universe series Titans. Can't wait on how they are going to introduce Ravager. I am referring to Rose Wilson by the way, the daughter of Deathstroke, to be introduced to us after Rit did not go so well with Trigon last finale of the first season. I mean come on, we know Trigon can be a incre- it can be a can be an incredible threat to the team and he did not leave yet the last time we see him on this show. So yeah, I guess they need to have a proper exit for him to bid goodbye. Because I think it's too early yet for a demon boss battle. So it will have to wait. But not bad though, Introdu- introducing him to us as early as season 1 finale. I see what you did there. Huh. Then we have got Gotham is about to end, or is it? So this is it. The ending is not really an end, as we all thought that we will see Jerome, Velas- Valeska, or even Echo for one last time before it, before the show ends. Turns out the season will end by a. Introducing Bane and Nisa Al Ghul. Wait, does that sound familiar? Yes, the Dark Knight Rises. So aside from the twist, the show brings closer to the m- movie, the ending. However, will not really be an ending based on the recent reveal and this flow of the story. Something tells me the birth of the bat is coming closer and sooner than expected. And lastly, Rise of a new villain on Krypton. Krypton. Yes, yes, Krypton. Sorry. Yep, I can't believe that we are covering this as well. For those of you who are not catching up along with the show or do not 
Do not watch this show at all, me myself included. Krypton is making an entrance for the big bad doomsday. You prob you are probably not the only one who who wants who is excited and wants to see the fight between Seg L and Doomsday. We all know Superman is so common and boring for a matchup against Doomsday since we saw them fight a lot of times. Now I guess opening a room for a new opponent is just right. So to end this video, please do tell me if Krypton is really worth my time and to all the DC fans and nerd out there, tell me which Batman comics show movies do you love. All those things down below the comment section. Also, old rules still. Be sure to like or comment and be sure to, sub to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be updated of our future uploads. Catch you guys in the next video of For All Things DC here on Everything DC and this has been your host Jonetsky signing off. Bye.